The multiple departments feature allows you the option to display as many or as few departments as you like at one time. This is especially helpful when considering your surgical patients. Our recommendation is to name your departments in accordance to the physical locations of patients within your hospital. In this example, we'll use ICU, isolation, ward one, and ward two. Next, add each department again with reference to surgery. In this example, we use GAICU to mean general anesthetic ICU patients. We'll also add GA in front of isolation, ward one, and ward two. From the whiteboard, you can then select which departments you would like to view. Here's an example of a TV screen in ICU displaying two different whiteboards. One side shows all ICU patients, including any that may require anesthesia. The other side shows all patients within the hospital requiring anesthesia. If, for example, Fluffy needs to go to surgery, you'll change his department to GAICU. Now he's on both the ICU whiteboard and the anesthesia whiteboard. Once the anesthetic procedure has been completed, you can then move the patient back into their original department. We also recommend then to color code your services to easily see which patients belong to which services. For example, pink for internal medicine, purple for ER, and so on.